What's up, guys? How's it going? So I got another, like, favorite year in metal for you. So today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite records of 1988. I know last time I did one, it was 1992. I chose, like, 25 plus records for that video. Today I'm keeping it nice and simple. I'll do a nice, concise top 10. So yeah, none of this stuff is in any order, so it's not ranked at all. That'd be kind of a pain in the ass, but I just feel like pulling out my 10 favorites. So yes, but before I get into it, if you can hear the records in the background, we're listening to records definitely not from 1988. This is from, I think, like, 2020. The Evangelic. <clears throat> Aristu? E-R-S-E-T-U. But that's kind of like weird lettering. I don't know what that says, but yeah. Tentacle, brutal death metal band from Italy, which... Their last record from this year is going to make my year in list, which... Let me show you. This one, I think, is definitely better than this one, but I don't know. They kind of changed style a little bit. Like, this one's slightly more technical. This one, I would say, is a little bit heavier. Like, this probably, like, early Nile's a good comparison for this. And, and this one may be, like, Disentombed, if you know them from Australia. So, yeah. Awesome band. I've said my love of Italian heavy shit before. So, yeah. So, 1980 was kind of an odd year, because it was like a year in transition, because you had, like, death metal hadn't fully become straight up, like, old school death metal yet. You had bands that were starting to go there, but they had more, like, thrash. Thrash was also getting more extreme and less accessible and melodic. Black metal wasn't really a thing yet, especially with the second wave stuff, but you had bands doing demos and first wave was still kind of there, but, I don't know, it's kind of a transitional year, like, especially, like, 86, 87, 88, and... 89, kind of some of the styles got more solidified, I guess, but yeah. So first up, let's do an obvious one. Death, like we see. I know there's a debate between which is the first death metal record. It's, people always say Scream Bloody Go or Seven Churches. For me, it's honestly this one, because if you listen to Scream Bloody Go, it's still pretty thrash-oriented. For me, this record, all the thrash is completely out the window. It's straight up, down the middle death metal. Though I would argue the only pure death metal albums are this and Spiritual Healing, because Scream Buddy goes like Death to Ash, and then Human Allworth, they're like progressive tech death, but yeah. Of the pure death metal era, that's definitely my favorite. Probably some of the most catchy songs, like a lot of the courses you remember, especially the title track. That pussy will take control and bring you to your death. But besides that one, probably pull the plug. I mean, the opening with the dun 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 Yeah. My favorite overall is probably Human, but this is probably my second favorite for year. Killer record, obviously, 1988, their second record. And this version has a, like, rehearsal track from 87. Yeah, two from, let me see, no. Side C is rehearsal from September of 87. Side D is re rehearsal from December of 87. So, yeah. Killer record. Alright, here's one of my favorite European thrash records of all time. Corner Punishment for Decadence. They're a perfect bridge of, between their first more, like, less technical record and their more technical phase. Because after this, what was it like? No More Color, I like the record too, but this, I definitely prefer this one. If I had to compare them to anything, maybe like, Release from Agony Destruction, because I think that record's definitely where they got more technical, but yeah. No, I probably like this record better, but favorite song in here, I mean, Skeleton in your, on Your Shoulder is definitely one of the best thrash songs of all time. Either that was Sudden Fall, the cover of Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. Kind of an odd choice, but it's not terrible, just I would have chosen a different song, but yeah. Probably my favorite rec- no, it's not even my- probably. It's my favorite record by them, definitely, so yeah. Killer Technical Thrash from Switzerland. Their first two records I like a lot. Their fourth record's okay, and their fifth one, Green. No bueno, but their first three is definitely my favorite, but yeah. Killer Record, Punishment for Decadence, 1988, obviously. Alright, so here's the only black metal record I chose because, like I said, a lot of the second wave bands were doing demos. I didn't want to include a demo. And some bands did a record in 87 <clears throat> and 89, but they skipped 88, but oh well. Not this band. 
<clears throat> Bath Lee, Bloodfire Death, so definitely my favorite record by them. Obviously, but yeah. Another transitional record they had, though I would argue under the sign of the Black Mark, you could hear where they were gonna go with like Enter the Eternal Fire, they were starting to go they he was starting to go into more of like a epic Viking y sound, but here's definitely where it's solidified. But there's still some thrashy songs on here, like The Golden Walls of Heaven, Pace Till Death, Holocaust, For All Those Who Died, Odin's Ride of the Nord Land, and Black Fire Death to definitely lead the two like epic triumphant songs on this record. But yeah, Killer Album, arguably not really black metal because it's more like I call this like an epic Viking black. Thrash record, I guess, but yeah. To me, the only pure black metal record was under the sign of the black muck, because the first two were definitely more like motorhead and venom y sounding, but under the sign is definitely the most pure one, so yeah. But this one was my favorite, though, so yeah. Let's fire death from Battery. Again, obviously. Alright, so this band has changed styles a lot. This, is, this isn't one of my favorite records by them, but it's still a very Solid one, nevertheless. Voivod, Dimensional Hatros, 1988, obviously, so. I definitely prefer Killing Technology, and honestly, I like the Outer Limits and Andrew Rap more, which is definitely not a very popular opinion. This one seems to be, like, a fan favorite, which I totally get that. <clears throat> I love it too, but I just prefer those three records over this one, but yeah. Killing Technology, I would say, is probably the most, like, Pure thrash record, but even that's still Voivod, so you know some of the like chord choices and riffs that Piggy did was very odd sounding, but yeah. Definitely where they got more progressive, but they're still, for me, their last record that has any thrash in their sound, like after this, they did like Nothing Face, which just Nothing Face, Andrew Rat, and Out of Limbs are definitely like their three pro most proggy albums up to that point, but yeah. Killer record, but not my favorite. Favorite tracks on here probably Tribal Convictions, Brain Scan, and Psychic Vacuum. But yeah. Killer record, I just like Killing Technology and Out of Limits more. But yeah. Definitely see why this is a fan favorite, though. It is a killer record for sure. Yep. Dimension Hate Trust, Voivod. I uh, here's another, like, Death. Thrash record, like I said, this was, there wasn't really much pure death metal back in 88. It's definitely a good example of that. Pestilence, Malefice, Malefocalum. Even Consuming Impulse has some good thrash. I would argue the like, first pure death metal record is definitely Testimony of the Ancients, but I prefer the first two, but yeah. Consuming Impulse, I think, is definitely a better record, but there were some killer tracks in this one too, like Cremotherapy. Commandments is another good one. Sickle of Existence, The Trauma, but yeah. Definitely, I see some people say this is a thrash record. I can see why you would say that, but it's more like death thrash to me. So like the like first death record, Massacre from France. Definitely in that vein, opposed to like, I don't know, like Suffocation or whatever, but you know that anyway, so yeah. Awesome record, I don't know who put this out originally, I think Roadrunner did their first three or four records, I want to say. Yeah, it was, it was Roadrunner or RC, I think, before they became Roadrunner, but, oh well, so yeah. Killer album, but consuming still better though, but if you want Pestilence at their most thrashy, this is definitely, definitely a killer record though, nevertheless, but yeah. Pestilence, Manifest, Malifor Column, another classic. Alrighty, so here is probably the most different record I'm going to show today. Blind Guardians, Battalions of Fear, so definitely my favorite record by them. Not a very popular opinion probably, but it's my opinion, so whatever. Definitely their first two or three records are more in like a speed metal direction, then they have good power metal like after that, but if I'm going to listen to them, it's usually this or the third record. Traveling, uh, what's that one called? Tales from the Twilight World, that's it. So those two are definitely my favorite, but this basically no power metal at all, just straight up like awesome speed metal. Highlights on this one, Majesty, Guardian of the Blind, Wizard's Crown, and the title track. But the entire record's awesome, man. 
I don't remember what labels came out on the witch releases of Nuclear Blast pressing, but I know they didn't get onto Nuclear Blast until like a decade ago, so that's definitely not it. But actually, I think they did a live record in the early 2000s that was Nuclear Blast for some reason, even though they weren't on their label, but I digress, so yeah. If you don't like what they came, became, because I, after like, I have to be in the mood for the later stuff, by later I mean like after the fourth record, Imagination, then Nightfall. Though I right, put those records I have to be in a specific mood for, but the first four is definitely my favorite of them, so yeah. Killer Records, super awesome vocals from Hanji. Nice, kind of f faster drumming. Yeah, awesome guitar work. So if you want to hear this, uh, like one song, I'd probably say <sighs> Wizard's Crown is definitely my favorite, but I already named the, some of the other ones. But this whole record slays, though, so yeah. Blind Guardian, Battalion of Fear. Definitely my favorite record by them. I know, not popular opinion, but like I said, I prefer the less popular era, I guess. Alrighty, here's definitely a divisive one. Now, some people hate this record, and I think it's awesome and kind of underrated, in my opinion. So it's the Slayer, South of Heaven, obviously. I know a lot of peers hate this one because it's slower, and they say Seasons is faster, which, if you actually pay attention, no. This and Seasons have the same amount of fast and slow songs, but the problem is this starts slow and Seasons starts fast, if you think about it. If they were to swap opening songs, no one would say this. They would all say that this is the same as Seasons, but that's another rant for a different day. I think, honestly, of the first four records, this has the my favorite non-popular songs, like the title track, Mandatory Suicide, those are the two popular songs. Those are honestly my two least favorite on this record. My highlights are probably Ghost of War, Cleanse the Soul, Silent Scream, Live and Dead, Behind the, Behind the Cross, and the cover of Distant Aggressor by Slayer, by, by Slayer, by Jewish Priest is also awesome. Is as good as the original? No, but it's still very solid, so yeah. Probably my second favorite record by them, honestly. It's probably Hell Awaits Than This, which I know another unpopular opinion, but... If you, unless you're new to my channel, you should be used to me saying not very popular opinions when it comes to favorite records, but oh well. So yeah. South of Heaven, I get not liking this record because it's slower, but if you give it a chance, man, the, the deep tracks are fucking awesome, so check it out. South of Heaven. I do well, it's me, so you knew this band had to be on the list somehow. Moonshine in the midnight sea. Yes, I know I can't sing, I'm sorry. So, obviously, it's Iron Maiden, the seventh son of the seventh son. Great record, but honestly, of the 80s albums with Dickinson, it's my second least favorite. I know it might be an unpopular opinion again, but I definitely can see why people say this is their favorite record with Bruce or favorite Maiden in general. I get that. There are some great songs on here, like. Moonshild, Can I Play With Madness, The Evil Within Men Do, and Only The Good Die, you know, definitely my favorites, but this, I don't know, man. I just prefer what they did before. Like, this is a killer record. I think, like, some of the synth stuff and, like, the slower passages don't work as well as, like, on Someone in Time, but it's definitely still a good record, though, obviously, so yeah. And though I think this has one of the best artworks, though, probably one of my top two or three favorite eddies, so yeah. Love that, though. Would have been cool to see them on this tour, but obviously I wasn't alive yet, this is the answer. But yeah. So if, if anybody in the comments wants to see them, I think it was with... I know a guy who worked with saw them with Queensryche on Operation Minecraft, who was opening, which would have been awesome to see that. But like I said, that was 88, so I was negative 10 in 88, so that didn't happen, obviously. So yeah. Seven Son of the Seven Son. I know, shorter video, but oh well. Alright, uh, here's the only Doom record I'm going to show today, but this is my favorite record by this band. I know, again, another one popular opinion. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Candle Mass, Ancient Dreams. I love the first record with Messiah. Nightfall. Nightfall is definitely awesome, but it's honestly my least favorite of the first three with Messiah. I even like Ancient Dreams more, but this record I think is definitely their pinnacle of their career. Especially the Messiah era. <clears throat> Favorites is probably Mew, Mew, Beer and Pain, and um, honestly, I love the Black Sabbath melody, which is just instrumentals, but I forget which songs exactly they play. Let me see if I can double check. 
I think it's on here, doesn't mention. No, it doesn't say, but not important, so yeah. Killer Record, definitely my favorite of the Messiah era, and definitely one of my favorite Doom Records of all time in general, so yeah. I like a lot of what Candlemas, honestly, for a while, I didn't really like anything Candlemas did after the Messiah era, but I've come to appreciate, like, the Rob Lowe era recently, yeah. The last record I thought was solid, but honestly, that guitar tone was kind of terrible and ruined it for me, so, oh well, but I'll get the Rob Lowe stuff, that's definitely my second favorite era besides the OG Messiah stuff, but yeah. Awesome record, definitely one of the best Doom records of all time in my opinion, so yep. Candle Mass, Ancient Dreams. Alright, the last one, one of the only couple thrash records I showed today. Tank Card, The Morning After. I definitely probably prefer the first two, and honestly, I like... Honestly, I honestly even like this record better than this one, which definitely never the popular opinion, but I don't know. There are some killer tracks on this though, like Shit Face, TV Hero, Try Again, Help Yourself. And this version also has the, like, Alien EP as a bonus, which is rad. I know Tanker gets left out of the, like, Big Four sometimes, the German stuff. They always say, oh, Teutonic 3, which I think is kind of unfair, because Tanker, another unpopular opinion, I think they are my second favorite behind Sodom, which I know no one no one will agree with, because I think they are definitely a lot more consistent than Destruction and Creator were, but yeah. Killer Record, but I still think the first two and the one after this are better, though, but yeah. Tanker, Chemical, or The Morning After. That's it, I know this was a shorter video, but... Oh, well, uh, these are all classics, so there was no point in me talking about them each for five minutes. That would have been kind of dumb, but... Oh, I'll pull out some other stuff and we'll do another video in the future. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but you shall see. So take care, thanks for watching, bye.